Then you just tell them you're like hanging out with us, and <laughs> uh -oh. if anyone gives you shit, you let us know. It's time for another on the spot. On the spot. One division or Falcon and the Winter Shoulder. Which one are you most pumped for, and are you excited for Loki? Uh, I'm really excited for Loki. I think that looks awesome. I'm gonna have to pay attention though, because I already feel a little confused at like what's going on there. I thought One Division was a little bit better. I thought Winter Soldier started a bit slow. But actually, by the end, it was mega. But I thought One Division was better. You? I agree. I agree. I like One Division a lot. Yeah, me too. It started a bit slow too, though. I have to admit, it those did. first like few episodes, I wobbled. It, it started a little bit slow, but then you know it, it got into it. It got there. But it started faster than Winter Soldier. Yes. That is true. Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, or Robert Pattinson, with three Batman actors in the movies at once now. Who is going to be your Batman? Christian Bale. I, Christian Bale's like the only Batman to me. Oh. What? Because I, I just can't, I can't see anybody. Like, I think he was so good at that. I can't see anyone else as Batman. <laughs> that seems like a controversial yeah, answer. I don't even on the list. I know, but you were like, who's your Batman? I was like, oh, you didn't even see him, so just got to come out. Who's your Batman? Uh, Michael Keaton, probably. Okay. But I do love Robert Pattinson, so he's probably going to be the new one. Are you a Twilight fan? Yeah. Also, I also a Harry Potter fan. So okay. I All right. Cedric, fair. So fair. I love Cedric. I'm in Hufflepuff, so I mean, I gotta love the only, you know. I basically Hufflepuff. cried when he died in the movie. There's only sad. like three Hufflepuffs, and two of them died. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, what else? side note, I've retaken this Pottermore quiz like oh, quite a few no. times recently, and I either end up in Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. So I decided that I'm a Ravenpuff. You're a Ravenpuff. I'm a Ravenpuff. I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I've never got Slytherin. Really? Like, not even one time. Mm. Who did, what do I you think, think you resonate movie. with more, though? Uh, mm. Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? Which one do you resonate more with? Uh, Hufflepuff. Really? In truth, yeah. I feel like more of my... My sister is more of the Ravenclaw of our family. She's <laughs> super smart. She's got a PhD in English literature. Oh, wow. I'm not that smart. <laughs> but welcome, I am quite loyal, so... Welcome to the Hufflepuff side. Thank you, Let's I know. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter films. Yeah. Uh, not all fans are thrilled with the Fantastic Beasts, and there have been rumors of rebooting the entire Harry Potter series, or even making sequels uh, about a new generation of kids. What are What are your thoughts, though? Uh, the newly found I, Hufflepuff. I think people missed what the point of the Fantastic Beasts movie were. It's It's nothing to do with Harry Potter. It's just yeah. in the Wizarding world, right? Uh, I I didn't think the second one was awesome i thought the first one was really cool i love eddie redmayne i've loved him in like a bunch of stuff that he's done i guess we didn't really know much about newt's commander as a person but i feel like he's super fitting for that role yeah. now um i like them you know i don't know why they catch so much heat i think they're like really good it's but like, i also we don't want new ones well i mean if they do like a, another series yeah, exactly. then like i want a series on like the founders mm. like how hogwarts was started when was it started that's they're the questions i want answering but like i think the next one like number like fantastic beast three that to me is like the most important time like they have to nail that movie oh, yeah, big time. because otherwise it's going to be basically a trilogy and done you know where yeah. didn't jk rowling say there was meant to be five you know so they've got some in my opinion they've got some big ticket items to like start crossing off to like re-engage with fans but it's the same thing when solo came out and people were sad and i'm like yeah but it's not it's not it's not how he is han solo it's how he becomes han solo <laughs> like why are we all confused by this i enjoyed those i did too <laughs> me too rogue one's my favorite but like it was he was fine he did a good harrison ford impression he, he did. did not deserve the <laughs> that he got for that i am oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm passionate. He didn't receive. He didn't deserve the backlash that he got from that. Sorry. She Just feel strongly this. about it. She lives with this guy. She's heard much of Bloop. <laughs> Bloop it out for me. Yeah. What are you most excited for with Star Wars? The new Obi Wan uh, mm. show with Vader, or the book of Boba Fett? Oh. Which one is getting you the most excited? Uh, the Obi Wan series. I mean, I don't. I kind of. Just, I like Ewan McGregor. Um, Same, I've been, honestly. I've been I've been reading the Darth Vader like Marvel comic book series, mm. so I've been feeling like I've been getting some like 
a bit more background on his as a character, you know, and also his progression more than just outside of the movies. Um, I think I just feel like there's so much potential. I thought The Mandalorian was just like probably my most favorite Star Wars thing that has happened okay. yet. But I actually have really been enjoying The Bad Batch. I don't know if you've caught up on that yet. Bad Batch is awesome. I thought the final season of The Clone Wars was really good. I mean, here I go on a side <laughs> note again, just go with me. Fourth of the fourth of uh, May is for actual mm. fans, like real fans, yeah. not people who just tweet like Baby Yoda one oh. time and they think they're Star Wars fans. I hate that. If you're one of them fans, I'm looking at you, camera. I don't like it. Stop that. This is for <laughs> actual fans like us. You posers. Yeah, you posers. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Baby Yoda don't make you a fan. Baby Yoda has a name. It's not even yeah. Baby Yoda. It's Grogu. Get on board. <laughs> How are you feeling about the new Ghostbusters trailer? What vibe are you catching? Think we'll get enough screen time from the original cast? You're gonna be really mad at me. Oh no! I haven't even seen the trailer. <gasps> I know. I, as soon as you said the new Ghostbusters, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know there was a new one. <gasps> you have to go see that now. You gotta watch the trailer. I like as it. As soon as I'm finished here, <laughs> I'm gonna do that and I'll tweet you my my excitement level on it. <laughs> I said the movie I'm most excited about watching at the minute is Cruella, actually. Ooh. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. look really good. Outside of my normal repertoire, but I thought, <laughs> you know, why not branch out? <laughs> And that is a wrap on the Indy 500 here at Indianapolis. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had loads of fun interviewing drivers and getting to see all these cool places. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next race and the next video. Later, make sure you smash, friend, like, and share. Pew.